Mosfet here again. Let's try Vapor by Soul Alive. I have my cheat sheet. You're not allowed to see that. That's top secret, you know. It's Hammond guys, you know. They don't want you to know what's really on their mind. I have my coffee. Uh, vapor is actually a pretty tricky little tune to get right. Um, the hardest part I found was getting a decent sound. <coughs> um, for the uh, Hammond, now I've forgotten completely what the drawbar settings were, so that's why I have this thing right here. Uh, I actually programmed them onto a preset uh, over here on the left hand side where you can't see. Uh, because I just love that sound once I nailed it. So, upper manual drawbars. Let's see what we got here. It is uh, 8, 0, 4. Pull that out exactly right. Bunch of zeros. Third one from the top, 8. You're going to run your Leslie full tilt. Uh, so fast. You may hear mine squeaking away in the background, but... So I like that sound. Um, once again, I'll be bouncing back and forth trying to show you bass notes here. Uh, primarily I'll be using my favorite setting for left, left hand, which is both of the first white draw bars pulled out all the way. Now, the song starts out lower manual only. Uh, I've tried a few ways to play it. I do it a little bit different than Neil. Um, I don't really know why, but I guess I just like it better. So, it's based in G, and you're walking up chromatically to B flat, and then back down, A, A flat, G. And I would do it something along the lines of this. Once again, really slowly. I'm actually holding down that G. You can keep that G down if you want. Uh, I kind of hear in his version, he seems to be playing these sevenths down, so. Okay. The tricky part for me is on the third pass around, he holds a high G with his right finger and does this. So I've got to play those those sevenths with just my left hand. So it would be like this. Now, Neil's Leslie switch is actually on his foot control. So he can kick it with his toe. Um, I tried that. I wound up kicking the volume pedal across the floor more often than I actually switched it. Uh, so the trick for me is actually hitting this Leslie switch way, way over here on the left and turning it up so it kicks in on the fourth version. So sometimes I'll do like... And right about here, reach quickly and then hit the G again. And then you're into the main part of the song. See how badly I did that slowly? Wait till you see me do it quick. It's even worse. Uh, so the Leslie is running full tilt now, really fast. And the chord he seems to be playing in this is, is this big, fat, open G. Uh, the notes are A, B, uh, six is a D, E, and a G on the top. So it's... Uh, uh, it's got nines in it. Uh, so one of those lovely six nine chords that I love. And he'll do some sort of. And then he keeps always the A or the G on the top, and will do. 
So it's moving down exactly like uh, number three and four that I was doing on the bottom. Uh, and then back to that, back to that big G. Um, I had a heck of a time trying to get a really good funky feel out of this tune uh, at the beginning. And so what I've been doing is I've been echoing what's going on with the right hand with the left hand. And I'm playing on the bottom. Let's get rid of the squeaky Leslie for a minute. I'm playing G, uh, 7, 6. So this is one of my 7, 6 chords that I'm extremely fond of. So we've got F, B, and E. And basically it just keeps moving up and down chromatically. So G, B flat, A, A flat, G. And let's see if I can remember how I actually do it live. You'll see it better when I actually play it with the band, but it's kind of a... So I'm just basically bouncing back and forth between these. Um, uh, our guitar player started playing just octaves like that, so somebody had to hold down the chords. Uh, I would probably do it if, uh, if the guitar player is playing the chords almost like... So just those little percussive slaps like that. Once again, the Hammond organ is a percussion instrument. Feel free to play it with a ball-peen hammer. Um, that's pretty much uh, first half of the tune. Ooh, we've got coffee all over my organ. Uh, the uh, part where the, where the horns really come in and start playing that little staccato part. Da, 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 da. Um, so I'm playing... B, D, G, F, just a seventh, but I'm still playing that G7, 6 in the left hand. So it'd be do an F7. Keep that G going all the time with your little finger. Starts with the uh, G, G7 right hand, G7, 6 left hand. An F7. I'm playing pretty much the same thing with both hands for that chord. Then I hit an E flat ninth. Still with a little G up on the top. To a D augmented ninth. Still keeping the the uh, the G on the top. Is that the whole tune? Oh no. Um, Neil plays this really, really bizarre mutant version of the opening lick uh, on the third time around. It's strange, and I had it totally figured out at one point. It's quite dissonant. Uh, I kept parts of it and threw away other parts, so I think I'm doing it something like this. part of it is kind of the um, Floyd Kramer uh, a D so holding an A and then I hit my B flat but I'm doing a very odd I've got my sevenths going here but you'll see I'm doing a little wipe a whole tone wipe. Um, I change it every time I play, so I'm sorry I'm not being very much help there. But that's pretty much the whole tune. Let's uh, do a bake light run through. 